Dear friends and members of the Gideon Planetarium Observatory, good evening. I hope that this message finds you all healthy and I wish you patience to go through this pandemic. Well, tonight I'm going to talk to you about the Lilith Meteor Shower, which is visible every year between mid-April and uh, the end of the month. So, this happens when Earth passes through the dust particles detached or left behind comet Thatcher. When uh, we have the comets that they are, they are orbiting around the Sun, and when they come near the Sun, the Sun is responsible for detaching these dust particles from the icy ball, which is the core, the core of the comet. So, all these dust particles left behind, when the Earth comes and meets them to this point of the solar system, when they were left behind, they enter the atmosphere and we see them burning when they are entering the atmosphere. So we call these meteor showers. So why do we call them lyrid meteor shower? So like every meteor shower, the meteor showers get their names from the constellation that they appear to come from. So the radiant of the lyrid meteor shower is Lyra constellation. And tonight, it's going to be found east to northeast, around 15 degrees uh, above horizon near the peak. So, uh, although you might spot individual uh, meteors prior to the peak, I mean in the previous days or after the tomorrow, in the next couple of days, uh, all the peak is tonight, so near midnight until early three, four o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, Wednesday, you're gonna uh, we're going to go through the peak, which means that um, the Earth is going to pass through the cloud, which cons which has concentrated dust particles left behind. So during this uh, peak uh, of the meteor shower, you should expect around ten to twenty meteors. Uh, per hour. So try to catch as many lyrics as you can with your naked eyes and try to capture them on camera by taking long exposure pictures. So enjoy the night, the temperature is nice, everybody is isolated, so try to do your best.